Hello everyone, thank you for joining us for the Tech Showcase demo for predictive maintenance. My name is Borer Ilmaz and I am a principal software engineer in the controls and identification team at MathWorks. Today I will be demonstrating some of our interactive MATLAB code generation capabilities in the predictive maintenance toolbox. The Diagnostic Feature Designer app is our main app in the predictive maintenance toolbox. This app can be used to manipulate large datasets for data transformations, feature extraction and feature ranking. It also integrates with the Classification Learner app in the Statistics and Machine Learning toolbox. Today I will be demonstrating how to use the Diagnostic Feature Designer app to generate MATLAB code for all user actions in the app. Let's quickly go over the demo workflow. First, I will import a set of synthetic vibration and tachometer signals from a rotating machine into the app. Then I will apply a data transform to remove non-periodic components from the essentially periodic vibration data. Next, I will generate some features relevant to rotating machinery and rank them in terms of their predictive powers. Finally, I will generate MATLAB code for all the above actions that I perform in the Diagnostic Feature Designer app. Let's first load our dataset into the MATLAB workspace. In this dataset, we have 16 experiments, each containing some vibration data from a rotating machine, along with the corresponding tachometer signal. We also have a fault code associated with them that indicates whether the experiment was performed on a machine that has a fault or not. Then I will launch the Diagnostic Feature Designer app. We can import our data set into the app by indicating that the fault code is a condition variable and getting all the vibration and tachometer signals uh, into the app as well. We can quickly visualize the data. And then, as I mentioned before, we can apply, apply some transformations. So in this case, I will apply time synchronous averaging, which means to remove uh, non periodic components from the vibration signal. And we will make use of the tachometer signal for that. So that computes the transformed signals and also generates uh, the plots of the data. Next, using the TSA data that we just computed, we can extract some features from those signals. In this case, I will extract root mean square, curtis and crest factor features from the time sickness average signal that we just computed. So we have the features in the app and then we can quickly visualize them as a table. In this case we see the three features that we just computed along with the corresponding fault codes for each uh, experiment. Once you have a number of features it is important to be able to rank them in terms of their predictive power. So for this we have a rank features capability which can rank the features using a number of tests available for ranking. In this case we will use the t-test and you can see that crest factor and the RMS values rank higher, much actually much higher than the Curtis's value. Once we are satisfied with our data processing, feature extraction and ranking steps, we can directly generate code so in this case, I will use generate functions for features option. We use the ranking algorithm, the t-test. And let's generate code for the top two features in this case. The app creates a MATLAB function that contains all of the computations that we need in order to compute those two features that we were interested in. Here you see that we are getting the original vibration and tachometer data. We are computing the time synchronous 
averaging of the vibration signal using all of the options that we selected in the app and then we are extracting the crest factor and the RMS features from the data. Now let's save this file. And let's run it. Here we see that the generated code produces the feature table with the features that we wanted to generate, in particular the RMS and then the crest factor, along with the fault code associated with them. It also creates an output table which contains not only the vibration and the taco signal that we first imported in the app, but also the time synchronous averaged signal that we computed in the app, as well as the rotating machinery features we computed there. So this is all available from the generated code. With that, let's switch back to our presentation. To recap, as of R2020A, we now have MATLAB code generation capability in the Diagnostic Feature Designer app in the Predictive Maintenance Toolbox. You can generate MATLAB code for all or a subset of the actions that you have performed in the app. You can also run the same generated code on a much larger dataset once you decide on the data processing and feature extraction steps using a smaller dataset in the app.